Recently, we've been watching the Spanish TV series Money Heist on Netflix. Spoiler alert, this relates to the third series or the first part of the second series. It depends how you look at it. Anyway, there's this team of thieves that take over the Spanish Reserve Bank. Their plan is to steal the gold that is stored in a secure vault below the building. As part of the security measures, as soon as anyone attempts to break into the vault, the chamber fills with water. Therefore, these thieves conjure up a plan that enables them to extract the gold from a flooded vault. However, it's not just the gold they're interested in. On the far side of the vault, behind a plain wall, lies a second vault. The question is, what on earth could be more valuable to a nation than its entire gold reserves? The answer is its secrets. This is something that marketers have been claiming now for a long time. Information is now more valuable than gold. Just ask Cambridge Analytica, the company behind the Facebook privacy scandal in 2018. They have been using information to decide elections all over the world for years. Sure, we all know that each lead in our CRM system has an arbitrary value. After all, they cost money to acquire, and a certain percentage of them will turn into sales. Therefore, it makes perfect sense to allocate a dollar value to them. And of course, the more information you have on a lead, the more qualified they become, and therefore the closer they get to becoming a client, which means they are more valuable than a lead because of the information that's been collected on them. So that means the more information we have in our database, then the more value that database has. However, that's still not the real value. Qualified leads are valuable, but more valuable than gold? I don't think so. The real intangible value lies in the building company's secrets. Not its dirty little secrets that it's trying to conceal from the tax man. It's industry knowledge. That is the real gold. The problem is, you can't sell it, can you? I mean, consumers will happily give you a few hundred thousand dollars for a collection of materials, so long as you assemble them. But they are unlikely to pay you to tell them everything you know about the industry. And even if they did, it's not really scalable, is it? However, those secrets you take for granted and store in your head and freely give away in the form of advice to prospective clients during your one-on-one -on -one chats can be traded rather than sold. They can be exchanged for the number one thing every business needs to survive, attention. By sharing your knowledge, your experience and your advice, you'll get the attention of your target market. And attention leads to interest, and interest generates leads for your building company. And when you use video to share your knowledge, it's leveraged, which is how you scale. And of course, scaling means more sales. So take a moment to think, what does your marketplace need to know? What are the most frequently asked questions you or your team are being asked? When you answer those questions and make the information available to your ideal client in the form of videos, they will be worth their weight in gold because you will transform your building company from being a commodity to becoming a service. And that is the secret of how to avoid competing on price. If you are pricing plans and submitting a price to the prospect, how are they going to choose a builder it will all be on price. However, when you go on camera and share your knowledge with that same client over a period of time, do you think they will only consider price when making a decision on which builder to choose? Would you? Of course you wouldn't, because apart from anything else, you've been educated on what would be a terrible idea for someone looking to build a new home. Here's the thing, consumers are not stupid. They just don't know what they don't know. And more importantly, they don't know what you know. So help them out. Stop selling and start helping. One builder who was a member of the Association of Professional Builders did this in April with a brand new content video that he shot on his iPhone. By May, he had signed up two preliminary building agreements that were generated from brand new leads that had never heard of him before they saw those videos. In summary, he spent $1,200 running a marketing campaign that produced $750,000 in sales within 30 days. 
That is an incredible return on investment. And it just shows how powerful this strategy is. Traditional advertising is dead. Don't waste your money. Information marketing and advertising is where it's at. And right now, video is the method of delivery. So that's the number one thing governments around the world value more than gold and how you can take advantage. Do you see how this can help you to not only avoid competing on price against other builders, but to also actually increase your margins? Give it a try and see for yourself how easy this is to do and just how effective it is when you promote your building company using online content on Facebook and Instagram. Need some help getting started? If you'd like to learn more about becoming a member, then click on the link below.